Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are back in Satisfactory again today. Going to be picking up where we left off in the Wheeljack storage facility and hopefully getting some trains going and moving some plastic, some caterium, and maybe even some copper moving around the map. Shout out and thanks to Mind Trip Media for 100 bits right here at the top of the stream. I really appreciate it. Uh, the work and the lurk is real. Thanks so much. Blast Jordan, my eyes are recovering. I can't spend too much time on the computer. Take it easy. Don't worry about it. I appreciate that you are here in spirit or maybe even just listening in the background. Uh, the lurks are always welcome. Uh, also, long time no chat, Blast Jordan. It's only been a half an hour. Uh, myself and Johnny, uh, Pixel Riffs from the Spawn Chunks podcast, just finished recording an episode of the Citadel Cafe. And uh, we talked about Rings of Power as well as Johnny's uh, extracurricular activities on a Friday night, getting together with people in person and doing some tabletop gaming. It was a lot of fun. So uh, you can check that out at thecitadelcafe.com. When I release that, it should be out next week sometime. Uh, and again, we also recorded the Imp and Skids podcast last week, and that is out. Uh, there's a link in chat. If you do bang Imp and Skiz in chat, you can get a link to that YouTube video. It was a really, really fun conversation with uh, Impulse SV and Skizzleman on their show, the Imp and Skiz podcast, talking about podcasting, content creation, uh, the work-life balance of working from home, all that kind of stuff. It was a really, really cool conversation. I mentioned that on the stream yesterday too, but that's out now, of course, for people that want to check it out. Uh, Jay Christ says, good afternoon. Hope you're having a good weekend so far. Yeah, the weekend's been great. Really relaxing. Had a lovely meal last night. Really chill evening. Full of pancakes and coffee right now. Cheers, pioneers. We also have stickers. Stream stickers are now live on the channel. Uh, you can use bits to support and uh, use even a text-to-speech uh, sticker if you want. Um, there are a number of those available. Uh, I'm going to come up with some custom ones, I think. Should be kind of fun. Uh, we were having a lot of fun yesterday with the um, the GLaDOS and the Claptrap ones, I think, were my favorite. Uh, they were pretty cool. Cosmic Dancer, hello. Thanks for being here. Hope you're having a good Saturday so far. Jay Christ says, I just watched the Imp and Skids podcast and thoroughly enjoyed it. A great conversation. Thanks so much, Jay Christ. That really means a lot. Uh, I've looked up to Impulse SV uh, as a content creator for a very long time before I even started doing my own Minecraft stuff. Uh, and uh, I'm newer to Skizzle Man. I know, obviously, of Skiz through his um, collaborations with Impulse, uh, but only in their Imp and Skiz podcast have I really gotten to listen and gotten to know Skiz more. Uh, and uh, briefly, only we talked to them for a couple hours last Saturday, and I'd like to talk to them more. We'd love to have Skizzle Man on the Spawn Chunks podcast. I think he would be a really interesting cat to talk to, uh, and especially as it pertains to how he approaches Minecraft. He's He's a lot more... I don't want to say disorganized, but he said he said on the podcast that he he abhors organization. He's very shoot from the hip. He wants to go with the flow. And so to have him on and talk about that and how he plays Minecraft in that way, I think would be really cool because uh, Johnny and I are very, very much planners, I think, when it comes to games like that. So I hope everyone's having a good Saturday. Let's uh, let's jump into the game here. Storage design. This is it was slow going yesterday. I did not accomplish as much as I thought. But right away it's dark. Um, so yesterday we finished up this storage unit. Uh, I think it's good enough for now. I'm not entirely happy with how it connects to the roof because it really just kind of floats in space. And there's not much happening up here. I don't want to cover these up, I don't think. Because I think that it might be fun to kind of look in from outside. I think that if we were up on a train track outside, we may actually be able to see the lights reflecting off of the glass ceiling. Yeah, so like I don't want to I don't want to cover that up. I think that looks kind of cool from the back. So putting a top on that is not really a high priority. So we'll probably leave that be. I kind of wish that the bins had a way to shut them. You know, like the bins have these um, these backs to them, or they—I mean—they look like this in the back of the front, right? But it would be really cool if there was a switch that you could walk up to it and and flip, and it would like shut it or something, so it would look more like a complete 
complete build rather than just like something that's sitting there. One other thing that we could do would be to add another belt here because um, down below our belts are a little bit slow. As they get closer here, you can see this is just chugging along because there's just too much happening and it's not getting into this belt fast enough. So I could use a second lift, which I could probably put up here somewhere. I guess we can go side by side on that. Um, So I was thinking what we could do is have a second lift, have it track a across here. This is also an input up here. So we could have like a second row of filters going down this way. And then a second um, stream to go into the uh, awesome sinks. That's an option as well. But the thing I think I want to try and and fix up today is, is this. I'm not at all happy with how that looks. So it's going to involve moving the uh, awesome sinks, I think, to a temporary location um, and then figure out what we want to do in there. I don't mind the shape. I just don't like how boring this is. It's very flat. I feel like we need to have a little bit more, more depth happening. And we've got some room to play with. So I may actually see what this might look like if it was farther out. Maybe flush. Flush there. Could be more interesting. Or even just back a little bit. You know, back a half meter could be good too. That would give some depth to the door. I kind of want to have more support up here as well for the ceiling. So having something like a, um, a concrete foundation. And then if we had the right end on that, maybe. Not that one. This one. Sort of, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it has to be a different color. I just kind of want to have some sort of support happening there. Maybe it has to frame the door. But I like the distance that the door is from the landing here, so maybe the solution is having something like architecture. Anything to kind of accent the depth that I want to achieve. So I think step one is going to be to figure out like what this is going to be and giving it a little bit more depth. Uh, I don't know if I want it to be a full half foundation, but it's certainly going to go a little bit back from here. So we'll go with this for standard. And let's just move this out. Maybe we'll make it a little bit lower too.
Really like the takeoff of the design of the wheel jack head with the building. It's really unique design. Thanks very much, Jay Chris. Yeah, it's so far, it's so good. Um, for anybody that's just tuning in, we've got um, wheel jack as the transformer for the inspiration for this. And uh, we're getting there. I think inside we're, we're slowly, slowly getting there. Those, that didn't go in the right spot. That's the same shape, but slightly bigger. And already you can see it sort of helps with with the depth. And I think we can maybe even do something similar to that inside. What I was hoping to do was have an actual like thickness to the wall. <clears throat> I just don't know if a full half foundation is quite the distance I want to go. All right, so what I should do right now is redirect this somewhere temporary. Uh, can I fit you guys over there? Sort of. Wonky, but it'll do for now. So this lighting setup is just not working. It's too close to these guys. So I know they have to be on two meters. So I'll leave that there and get rid of these lights. So one thing I was thinking would be um, instead of putting the um, awesome sinks here, we could display like a Cybertronian looking sign animation. Uh, if I can get two of these signs to be in here, the large billboard will fit. I just have to position it in the right spot. That covers nearly the whole thing. I think we'd have to do two. It's probably okay. You have a lot of leeway with those ones. I'm going to need this blue light color. So if we don't want to have the machines, then we could use these signs. This gets a little bit into like the shockwave idea of things, but there are some layouts on these I think it's go with that and then remove the image 
This is animated. And then you change the gray color to the blue color. Or change this. Sort of. Maybe I want to go the other way around. Something like that. And so when you come in the door, you see that. I'm not crazy about the seam down the middle. And it's a little bit too white. Let's go with this maybe. It looks kind of cool. Would really look really nice if it was pink. Well, Energon is kind of like this magenta pink from the original series. Wait, are you Joel? Is this the weekend? This is not Minecraft. No, it's not. No, we're we're sticking with Satisfactory for a bit. Johnny and I were talking post show on the Citadel Cafe just a little while ago and saying like, you know, it's nice to take a break sometimes, you know? Yeah, I feel like this needs to have a similar shape. And then we can put something behind it and overlap something in front of it as well. So I kind of like that better than the um, the awesome sinks. I still think we'll have the awesome sinks stick out the, of the ceiling, but I think that looks a little bit cooler, more Cybertronian. I just need to find the right color for it though. And are we going to add some depth to it? Probably. pretty cool. I don't know about the metal, but you could maybe mess with that a little bit. That might be better off as like grip model. It feels a little bit more like a piece of apparatus. And then what I was thinking is that we could have this connect to the door somehow. So the door we've given some depth to, right? Um, it's a little square. I'm not crazy about these. I don't need these here. We can just run these right up into the ceiling because the ceiling is four meters thick. And I do like the depth on the door. Could use a little shape, maybe. But then what I was thinking is having something that looks like a cable uh, 
and we might even be able to use like a belt. I guess we could even try to have a belt there. That could be interesting. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it needs some sort of like cutout and reveal. That's kind of cool. Although it breaks up the screen a little bit, the shape of that. Can you see the... I might have to move the signs a little bit forward. They're not... Yeah, I should have made them a little higher, I guess. Um, what I was thinking is grabbing a wall. Using a belt as decoration. Because then maybe we can get rid of the wall. I think if we had like a couple of those, it would look kind of cool. It's that or I try to do it with like a beam. Similar to what we've got going on down here. Those. Maybe we could have some sort of beam connectors and beams. Oh, I did it on Ironhide as well. Yeah, what about these guys? not want to connect to the beam connector? That's weird. How come you don't want to connect to the beam connector? That's what the beam connector is for. Connecting beams. Are they the same height? Mm, yes. annoying. I mean, it doesn't really look all that good anyway. It looks kind of like a spider. Tiffers, welcome in. How's it going? Uh, using a belt gives a nice curve you might not get with other materials. Yeah, that's also fair. I don't like that. That's a no. 
If I did something like this, I would use like a, a proper beam and make it like a pillar and make it a lot fatter. I also like the idea of having um, more kind of like stuff exposed here, although we don't have necessarily the room. Like I like having this kind of thing, and I'm wondering if we could do that horizontally kind of behind this. There. Hmm. So that's too much of the same color, unfortunately. We don't have half ramps, do we? Yeah, I like that. We just have to figure out how to handle the bottom part of it. The vertical thing wasn't too bad. Maybe that beam should only go from the roof to here. Eight meters. I'm trying to think about the different things that he's got going on in his face. More angles and less straight lines. I think I prefer that look. I think it needs to be a little bit closer together. touch this is where it might be cool to put in a splitter so one two Try to find something else in the in the game that sort of feels like a circuit board or something. Anything that has like details. Smart splitters are expensive, but they've got lights on them.
I know, it's missing something. What do we think, chat? Any ideas for like circuit board type details? Outside of like adding another sign, I'm not exactly sure what we could do. I mean, something, it might be something just as simple as adding a couple of lights, you know? Not bad. I think I like it better than that. Abelvarth, hello. Don't think it's totally what you're looking for, but about a dimensional depot behind a glass wall? Oh, you mean in that section? Yeah, we got a lot of, a lot of the dimensional depots over here. I actually, I can't build one. I don't think I have enough stuff to build one. But yeah, the purple would be good. I could change that to more of like a Cybertronian um, Energon color. Like the original cartoons to pop open a browser here too it's become more blue in the um oh this is looking up the series energon uh let's say cubes yeah so like the energon in the original series was very purple very pink sort of had this kind of cube thing to it but then in other series it's more blue i prefer the blue look not because i don't like the pink but it's just because it seems like it makes a little bit more sense because so many of their kind of like other lights are blue so it makes sense that their powers are blue sparks are blue like their hearts are usually blue uh, War for Cybertron. Don't know. Yeah. A lot of very blue, blue energy happening. I really like the designs in that game. Very, very cool. Very angular. That's a great Megatron. Wow. It's 
sound wave. Also very cool. Okay. Well, I think to get this to at least a um, happy place, we'll go with the lights for now. I just wanted to get to a, at least a state of finish where it looks like I haven't forgotten about it. if I can get those just a little bit farther apart and I can put one of these blue lights in between them. I guess I could try that too. I love how far you can reach. So what am I missing? The signs need to, the big signs need to be changed a little bit. Um, I need to fill in the gaps here and sort out what kind of change I'm going to make to the wall. So yeah, the wall needs something. I wonder if maybe this needs to be held back and what this needs is pillars there although that kind of that could have gone farther forward with that hmm not my favorite Square door just feels kind of kind of strange, so I kind of want to bring this down. But if I bring that down, it's going to be a weird connection. Yeah. That's more in with the design, although this now feel like it ends kind of abruptly. I 
I feel like you can create such cool shapes in this game, but then you're stuck with these weird, like, I don't know, terrestrial looking paths. Finally managed to beat the game, says Veos. Uh, last night, and my factory looks like a transformer threw up some concrete. <laughs> Not spaghetti, at least. Well, that's important. Shockwave is always your favorite? Yeah, I like Shockwave, too. The Gateway Guardian on Cybertron? Yeah, he's very cool. The factory's working there efficient. Look, that's a thing. Like, that's a hard thing to accomplish in the game. Congratulations. That's tough. I've never beaten the game. I've never gotten past uh, Tier 7 or Tier 8. I've never done any nuclear stuff whatsoever. Alright, well, I think we're going to try to commit to keeping these paths where they are, which means I should probably decorate them the way that we did these. So, I guess we start here. Hides at least a little bit of it. Don't know how we're going to handle that. Because we did not have to worry about corners. Hmm. I guess we have could have this go down. This make a lot of sense though. We have to use beams. Yeah. We need half walls, coffee stain. Desperately. Desperately need half walls. This works out okay, I think. Add a wall here. But then how do we get that to connect to this? I guess we could. Can't fit a ramp there. Can't fit a foundation there. Hmm. Not the end of the world. Um, I could also do beams instead. going to be the solution that we use.
Yeah, that's fine. Fine by me. I could probably do that all the way around. Maybe not there. I guess I could have nudged that a little bit differently. I'm not sure what G does in the game, but I absolutely hit G a lot more than I should. I feel like it's a pretty convenient key. I could probably map it to something. Just the style of what we have going on pretty well. And I guess we would want to do the same thing over here. And do we leave that open? Probably not. Uh, tiled blank monitors just dis displaying colors. Um, up here, you mean? Very much the middle of the keyboard. Yeah, I just feel like I hit G by by mistake a lot when I'm hitting, um, trying to hit uh, H to lock the lock the. Um, The hologram? I mean, H makes sense. H for hologram, right? I'm not in love with this stuff. I still feel like I need something there. Donna Raff, hello. Glad I could catch a little stream for sure. Welcome in. Thanks for saying hi. Uh, I was talking about under the catwalk uh, set to non-emissive. Uh, pillars look better though. Oh, I see. I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like under here. Yeah. I still feel like we could have some like almost you almost want like track lighting you know
that's annoying that it doesn't do 45. Like, why? Why did you not let that be a thing? But like, having a light there would probably make sense. I'm okay with that for now, I think. I think I'm alright with that for now. So we'll just do the same thing on the other side here. Obviously this is going to be a little bit different because we've got the intake. And so this was... Right above the door there's an angle there. Oh, I forgot to leave. Forgot to delete a thing. And really, I guess what I could do is I could push that, could push that back. And actually have this connected there. Don't think that will work. That's going to cut it off. Uh, it's close. Oh no, we're good. It looks a little funny. Human, the cake is a lie. What is not a lie is that stream time is at an hour, and you should get snacks, but not cake, because it is a lie. <laughs> So, so clever. Thank you for the break reminder, Cosmic. Uh, thank you for the 200 bits and the stream sticker. Well written. You are nailing those. That is that is very funny. Uh, thanks ever so much. Wow. And yes, I should take a break. Uh, is it nighttime? Is it close to nighttime? It must be. Very close. Let me just finish up this... Uh, this walkway here and then we'll be on track with with nighttime it does look a little bit weird when you can see through there so we may have to come up with a dark like backing for in here We have to move some things around. This feels a little bit funny at the moment. And then this kind of ending. I think what I had before was probably pretty good. Oh, right. It sort of crosses over um, that's not terrible maybe what needs to happen is just one of these but it has to be white that's probably the best Best solution there.
Oops. Now, I think I had the corner. That's where I started it. So at least the main room here feels like it's a cohesive thought now. Anybody else Minecraft brain thinking that something is going to spawn in here? In the, under the stairs in the dark? Don't forget that fix it in their magnanimity allows you only 15 minute breaks each workday. That's fair. There's a little bit of Z fighting happening there, but it's not the end of the world. I think that's about right. looks consistent the cosmic energies are powerful embrace your destiny and be one with the darkness <laughs> uh, that penguin dude used a Darth Vader TTS sticker thanks very much be one with the darkness uh, thanks for the support and thanks for the chuckle. That's great. Light level zero? Yeah, maybe. Uh, the sun is now setting and uh, as I was reminded uh, twice now, uh, we have to stick to our breaks as we should. Uh, you should too. Give yourself a stretch. Uh, refresh your coffee. That's what I'm going to do. And uh, I'll be back in five to seven minutes. Uh, why not tell a friend about the stream too? Because we are trying to grow the channel. Thanks folks. I'll be right back.
Okay. Let's see. Still a little dark. Might be able to look around where we might want to put some lights. I'm noticing you can sort of see through here, which is weird. So that might be... What is that? That's the ramp. I think it's... Oh, under there. Okay. Am I going to fix it? Yeah. That's all that was. Well, that's cool. I think it needs a little bit more contrast. It's a little bit bright. You can't really see the details. I might try to make it look like that Energon color. It's cool to see the reflection in the glass, too. That's fun. We need to move these signs anyway. And I'd say there probably needs to be some lights above the doors. So maybe grab a beam. Need to do some light blueprints, I think. Uh, Apple Breath, thanks very much. Appreciate that. Oh, that's the wrong button. Did I copy that other sign? I did not. Yep. I think that's good. Uh, this feels a little bit strange with the white exposed. I kind of wonder, now that we've got the metal uh, walls, I wonder if we could try... Uh, oh, no, I don't have the metal walls. I wonder if this would be better to have as like a different color. even just a different texture altogether. Maybe it's the ceiling that needs to be carbon steel? Or chrome? Oh, I could just do this one. Just the two meter. And leave the other ones white. Feels okay. It might be better off with asphalt.
So I have this weird glow, but I think that's the the non lighting engine graphics. Okay. I think I'm pretty happy with where things are down here as far as we are going to be in this room a lot. Uh, coming in here, I think looks pretty cool. I now just need to adjust these big signs to make sure that they have the depth I want them to. There's a little bit of a, a gap here. I'm going to fix that. I think that's just going to be a matter of deleting one. Um, we'll delete the one that's got the stand on it. Maybe they have to come a little bit farther forward. Although that's not as much depth. Hmm. Maybe we just need to double up on the wall. I have to remember that you can do double thick walls like this. It comes in very, very handy. Uh, let's do the signs again. This time, though, I'm going to put them right in the middle. And get a little bit more depth out of them this way. That to me looks right. I may have to change the material on these things. Oh, come on. Had it. So let's go with um, half foundations and probably I said to make sure that they're both facing the same way. Probably fine. Can I not zoop up? Why can I not zoop up? Because they're foundations, not walls, Joel, that's why. backs of these look really cool just as decoration. It's a really expensive metal looking wall, but you can totally get away with it. Okay, uh, now to fix this, I feel like we have this blue light color pretty much sorted. I should probably save this.
did, it did seem to be a little bit too bright for what I wanted to do here. So let's go with a darker. when I do that. So now I gotta find it in the list. Uh, and then this one. I think that's more visible. Dan Grice, good to see you. Yeah, a little bit more visible. Just turn down the intensity of the blue. I could even go a little bit farther. Actually, let's go with two on this one. I can then copy, because we've got two of these signs, we can do a little A-B testing here. And just decide which one looks better. Kind of like the left. Maybe we'll go somewhere in the, in the middle. I think that's the ticket. Cool. I feel like this room is pretty good. So we have not done the back yet, but I need to know how we're going to connect it to a train before we really sort that out. Uh, I do want to get rid of some of this. Put these back. Does that stick out? Probably does. Um... Let's just do maybe half foundations. So I'm not sure how we're going to finish up this room and even what this room is going to be used for. So for now, we'll just keep it as is. A little more function over fashion. Um, special. I hope they change the hitboxes. Just the two. I don't think there's anything in here that we have left that's just two tickets. Nope. Uh, factory zone. Walls. I think I'll maybe I'll wait for the walls a good idea. Realizing that we have a couple of, of aluminum bits that we could put away too. A few extra tickets there, I'm sure. 
Did I? I think I put the alien stuff in there too. Yeah, the thick walls are, are a nice touch. I'm not terribly worried about the inside here. Again, because it, it's more of a, a space that's met, designed to look good from the outside, but we don't really need it right now. So I think I'd like to try and do a little bit more tactical stuff and get a, a bit more of the train things sorted out. And for that, I'm going to need some blueprints. So we're going to go get the, the big blueprint designer. How are we doing for automated stuff over here? We're done with modular engines. Those are just going to keep on trucking. We don't have an overflow for this. Um, actually, we do. I guess the parts that are going to make this just get overflowed into the trash, so... Well, we got another bin, so we're good there. Uh, what was this? I should be making... That needs quick wire. Cable's good. Quick wire is empty. These are just disconnected. Yeah. Short on quick wire to go refill that. Okay, that'll make those adaptive control units. What's going on with you? You backed up? No. Not enough reinforced iron plates. That's weird. You should have plenty. That's happened before, too. There's lots of plates. Is it the cable that's not getting enough? It's at 100%. Yeah, I don't know why this lags behind a little bit sometimes. Because what's happening is that this one is producing four and a half per minute. And this needs... Oh, this needs three. Oh, uh, okay. That's my fault. Okay. My fault. So that splitter is in the wrong spot. This is producing four and a half. So producing nine. Yeah. It sent this is sending all of them left. So it's sending four and a half and we need six. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I could just amp this up. Do six. And then run this down to do three. And then that would work. And that is going to prioritize the first one. Yeah. Okay, we'll try that. Easy breezy. Uh, power shards.
That should solve that problem. What do you need to do at your factory, Dan? Decorate it? It does feel good to have it looking pretty good. All right, Blueprint Designer Mark II. The big boy, or one of the big boys, I should say. So I know I'm gonna need some train curves and I don't have those in my Blueprint Designs. They're just, um, um, regular foundations. So foundations, I've got four by four by four. Something else I keep on forgetting is that when you have blueprints in um, a line like this, they come up in the radial menu. So you can choose between, um, oh, maybe not. Yeah, hold E. So one by four, four by four. Right, one by four. Four by four. So when you group them up, it'll it'll matter when you're building with them. Uh, and then this is two meter foundations, production lines. That's the belt pull top. So then undefined, we've got all these ones. So this is four by four, two meter concrete. So what I should do is edit some of these and move the category. One meter. I've not labeled these very well. I need a new category. I wonder if I should leave them all in the same category. Give me access to them in the radial menu. That would be maybe better. And that's if the changes stick, they don't tend to. And these are trains, so I need to add a category. Call them supports. I showed these off at the end of the last stream. Subcategory. Uh, hope oh, I need to edit. There we go. Edit lights. And then these are under production. They do they do need to do a better job with the UI here. Like show you where you're taking things. Okay, so now under blueprints. Trains. So I had this, I showed this off yesterday. That's the one that I'm using in the other playthrough, but I feel like I want to do something just a little bit different with this. Uh, I might use this as a, as a stopping or a starting point. 
But one thing I definitely want to do is add some foundation curves. So I think that would be very handy. And I think I'm going to start with just the one meter ones. And I'm going to use, I think we're going to use concrete. Uh, I want to use white. Maybe we'll just use this for now. Chances are we're going to delete this anyway. And just have the tracks. Not what happened. Um, so with this, um, you want to go regular mode, you want to hold control and aim at the corner, and I wanted to use these um, specific ones because they've got this crosshair on them, and it's easy to see the center, so then you go five degrees. Click there, and then here you lock it, and you go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And there's the start of a five degree turn. And then you just do the same thing a few times in a row. And it's gonna remember that we've locked it to a five degree turn. Except for I was holding control, and you don't have to hold control. This just gets us farther. with the bigger blueprint. That's as far as we can go with that. And so we'll save this as a uh, five degree right bend. Can I do this? No. Is there, what's the... Does anybody know the key command to get the degree? Just so I don't have to type it in all the time. Uh, I guess I could do degree. I wonder what would be better. Oh, buildings, parts, equipment. I thought we could have like a... Too bad we can't have one of the arrows. Like a, a right arrow would be great for this, right? Color. Maybe we could do... Something like a red or a pink-ish. Red for right and something else for left. Green for left. Um, set directory. Rings. Add subcategory. This is going to be pathing. Save blueprint. Did that work? Is the question. No. Where did it save it? Why is it not saved? Save blueprint. Set directory. Undefined. That's not where I put it. Oh, 
What's the point of assigning the directory? And then it's nowhere. So dumb. What gives? Uh, blueprint designing is more than finicky penguin dude. It is broken in many ways. Uh, pathing. I feel like you've got to set up your categories like outside of the designer. The designer and the and the creative menu doesn't don't seem to work very well together. See, like there should be a confirmation button here, right? But there's not. There's just this. I don't care where it goes. I just want to access it. There it is. So again, it looks like set up your categories before you set up your um, before you set up your your blueprints. So all I'm going to do is the same thing, just in the other direction. So we'll just hold control. We'll have to make sure that we're in the middle of this first one. Looks right to me. the end so then we just have a left curve hopefully this will be the same oh did i just completely change no change this again left to bend left bend it's neat that they give you that clunk like you're tapping on a screen like the color Directory. Cool. And so what we need to do here is actually have like a, a left bend continued. And you can't really do a train track. For anybody that doesn't know, you can't do a train track less than a meter long. So like if you do, let's say we start here, right on this cross, you can't have this be just one foundation. It has to be like one and a half. So really your best bet is to do segments of, of um, 18 meters, not a 16, 16 meters, two, two eight meter foundations. So 16 meters total. And so in order to, to continue a bend, you need not this so this is a very this is a straight one it's not bending at all so if we connected these in the real world with the blueprint designer then what you'd have is a nice bend right 
So let me just say if I attach that there. So we have a nice curve. But if I want to do that again, if I choose this again, this first segment is going to be two straight in a row, right? So there's there's no five degree change there. It's changing five degrees, five degrees, five degrees, five degrees, no degrees, five degrees, five degrees. So we need to um, remove the straight bit at the beginning. And then for flexibility, we'll just remove the other parts. So I can um, save this as a new blueprint. Um, and we'll call it left continued. And I don't know what we could do to make it different in terms of the icon. I don't know that we could. Maybe we can just change the color to be a little bit darker or lighter. Still green. But then um, we'll delete this one and these two. And save it again. And so now we choose our left. This blue. Mm. I feel like I can tell the difference there. So I'll grab the five degree bend here. So it starts off straight and then does the bend. Now I can grab this continue part and it just snaps right on the end. and continues the curve. Right, there's no no double straights there. It's just a constant smooth curve. And then we just need to do the same thing with the um, the other side. I feel like you have to repeat the process in some of these cases where you shouldn't have to repeat the process. Yeah, like why did that not go in the category, right? It's almost like you could do things twice. Also, I guess... Yeah, I thought they would do that in alphabetical, but we have to do that ourselves. Cool. So that'll get us going on some train curves. Is there anything else that I need here? I was hoping to work on the maglev thing. Uh, thanks, uh, Cosmic and Dan. That's a that's a thing I totally stole from Total Eclipse. He's got a great set of videos out there. It's Total X Clips on YouTube. He does it. He goes over it in his streams a lot too. Uh, but I think that you'll um, you'll catch on with the video quite quickly as well. Uh, so now we just have to think about where we want to put them and how we want to support them. So 
I was thinking it would be really cool to have some sort of um, maglev thing. So just curious. This is five by five. So if we had tracks uh, that were here, you can hold control now to get dead straight tracks, which is nice. And so, oh, that's not, that's straight, but not aimed at the right location. So I was thinking it'd be cool to have something support these every once in a while. So that's the middle. Um, I'd want to have one of these out like this. Maybe even a little bit higher. as a start and then I was thinking we could have ramps I don't know if that's hmm maybe not ramps maybe these upside down bits are kind of cool looking too sort of go the wrong way. What about these? Mm, that's not what I want either. Essentially what I was thinking was having signs underneath here. So maybe in this space. What locks and prevents you from doing certain things in the game is not clear. So that's kind of a fun angle. So I was thinking about having signs. Like in this sort of area. We'll work on that. Um, that's the middle, so maybe like here. So they're sort of facing out a little bit, and then 
doing our little light thing. Actually, some backgrounds, maybe we can actually go with gradient. Hmm, that's the wrong, wrong way around. I have an important message from Cosmic. They said, oh, I forgot what they said. They mentioned nighttime and break. Break something at nighttime? Sure. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Well played. Wow. That is uh, class, Cosmic Dancer. Really, really well done. My goodness. Uh, thank you for the break reminder. Uh, I'm going to stitch that. I laughed so hard. Oh my gosh. Well written. I appreciate that. And thank you for the bits. That's a really, really kind of you. Super fun. Uh, I feel like this needs to be like an omission of three. See, it's not as bright as I want it to be. It needs to bounce off of stuff. We need to find a way to also add like things to this. Like beams around it or something. Where it's got like a frame. Um, and some sort of structure. And I think that's all I want to do. Anyway, uh, I will leave this for now because I will get lost in it if I do not take the break and stick to it. So thanks very much again, Cosmic, for the reminder. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I take a break once an hour. It gives me a chance to grab another cup of coffee, maybe even grab a snack. You should too. Grab a friend. Let them know we're streaming. Uh, and we'll be back in five or six minutes.
Looks like we came back just in time for night to start. Penguin dude, thanks for the lurk. Appreciate it. Uh, and penguins wearing tuxedos, thanks for the follow. Got a theme going on. Lots of penguins in chat today. So we had the blueprint thing going. I want to say I'm probably going to have to add some lights to this in order to see what I'm doing. But I can I can sort of see it. I just I need to have some sort of like structure to this that I currently do not have. And maybe we have to do like foundations or something. I feel like it needs to be a full foundation wide. And I feel like there's just that's a little bit too close to the tracks. Like I feel like it has to be under it. It's like I almost want to go with something at like this level. if we could use these in any way. So we'd have to find the right way to do it. I guess it would be the other direction. signs will go on the end of these they don't really do they go on the end of beams though mm, no uh not really very very tricky to get this to look right, I guess. Don't know if I want to go with a frame. It might look lighter. I guess we can go with... These don't come in two meters. There's only floor, foundation, and then the big ones. And these, I guess they do stack. Seen him. Hello, how's it going? Welcome in. Can't wait to see you get to phase four. You have the easiest one left. Um, I don't know what you mean. The what are they called? Modulators? No. Activator? What are those? Modular engine. What what are the what are the ones in the top right? Control units? 
Adaptive control units. Yeah, we're not doing um, any of this stuff right now. Just, well, we're doing those. And that's it. Nothing else is automated. We've got the ingredients for those. I guess I could be making those, couldn't I? That would be smart. Automated wiring. I can do that pretty, pretty easily. Thanks for the reminder. Augmented adaptive. Same, same, same. <laughs> Alien ball thing that we don't know what it does. Right? Stators and cable. We can do that. So many menus. Uh, let's go with that. One twenty five and six point five. We need how many of those? We need to make one hundred. So we just need one hundred of those that will not take very long 20 minutes so it'd be 100 times 20 on the cable and we really don't need that many staters at all right I only need 100 of those. Just load this up here. No, it takes five. So I need 500 automated wiring to make one adaptive control unit. So 500 automated wiring. That means we need 20 times 500, right? 10,000. A lot of cable. And then... Five hundred staters. I think. Yeah. We need five, we need a hundred heavy modular frames. We've got those, no problem. We need 500 circuit boards. So I could be making those too. And a thousand computers. No, uh, 200 computers. All right, well, we'll go this one at a time, I guess. I think I did the math right there. Someone shout at me if I didn't.
And that passed the night time. Sweet. So the struggle here is to get this to look like it has some structure. I'm wondering if it would be better if we just used uh, a ramp. Maybe we do a combination of like one of these. And a upside down ramp. So it still has some structure, but it's got a nice angle on it. I think maybe if I did that, I'd want to do do it on this way. Can I get it to link? Why is it not? I feel like I'd want it to be out a little bit from the middle to have some sort of like center piece. Now, why that won't connect to the side there, I don't know. That's sort of loading. Hmm. I think I made that too low. It's interesting to have them kind of nestled. Almost like it's gripping them, if we had that to be the right shape. That could be interesting. Maybe if we delete this, put that there, and do like a, a ramp going the other way. That's sort of cool. Feels kind of spacey. Don't know. I wish we could have... Sometimes I wish we had just a little bit less um, overlap on certain things. Yeah, not a fan. Curious about a, a beam though. Too high. What about this? No. I do sort of want to nestle it in the track if I can. I guess I could just try to lower that. Concrete pillar? Yeah, concrete pillar might be the way to do it. I think the thing here would be to use uh, this, do a concrete pillar. And then use the beam trick. Not the beam, the barrier trick. But like, just get up to cover that. I'll 
obviously a little higher. It's hard to see. Okay, change the material a little bit. Might look better. Could also be cool to have colors. We could also just use walls. There's a couple things we could do there. But mostly what I want this to look like, I just I feel like the blade part here is a little bit on the on the sharp side. Like I wish we could cut that off somehow. But I don't know how, other than try and attach one of these guys. Which may or may not look good. That, you know what? That's not that's not terrible. It takes care of the sharp part. The real question is, how do I get um, these to feel like they're encased in something, right? And I think some of that might be... Um, I need to put something around them. I don't know what we have that would work. I can't build it right now, but like, why can't I shift you this way? It's annoying. That feels about right. I'd probably get rid of the beam afterwards. Yeah, I, just, I want this to be thicker, so I maybe need to come down a bit. Oh, that did not go the direction I thought it was going to.
And we could, of course, add walls and stuff to it as well. And how... I really wish we could have this at the right angle. Maybe we have to go with a thicker, thicker foundation. Yeah, vertical nudging would be very nice. So that's more in line with the angle I want. Feels a little bit more robust. You know what we could do if we did that? Then we could have these guys out here. Ooh, I don't know about that. I think it's a little bit too thick, maybe. Our beams could be here. They're at the right angle. The signs would probably work in this position too. Then we just have to figure out how to make the sign look like it's got full attachment to there. Don't know quite how to do that. I like the one by two ramp. The eight meter by four half foundation was great add too. Thanks, yeah. I like the top bit here. I mean, we're gonna, we can mess around with that a little bit more. It's um it's cool. I just I'm trying to just figure out how to make I basically want this to look like it has a bit more of an exhaust port around it. And I don't see anything that we can really use that would be kind of like a one-stop solution. that I mean we could cover that up that's actually pretty easy to build I mean the idea of the blueprint is to be able to just build it once you know that's snapping to the pillar so I'd want to do Snap to the sign, to the post. It's hard to be, it's hard to get low enough to see what that might look like. The tough part, of course, is that I've built this high, right? I don't mind that. I kind of like the white.
seeing the edges is kind of weird. Maybe we'd have to do different signs. So maybe a four meter, three meter, eight meter by four meter. That's too big. Two meter sign, portrait sign, two by three. So the tricky part here is that we have to make the sign a light before we put the, the beams on. I think that looks okay. Why is it not letting me... Hello? up part of the sign. Interesting. That's the wrong angle. I knew I was going to do that. Wish you could rotate it while it was frozen in place, but you can't. And it moves. They need to do something about the aiming in the game for sure. And that did what I wanted it to, not what the other one was supposed to do. That's frustrating. Very Y Wing ask. Yeah, I guess it sort of is, isn't it? Don't mind that, especially because we'll cover it up. Oh. I don't know of anything we could put there either. good honestly it might be just as simple as like using a black sign right just have nothing here just for the color Also works. I 
Actually, I kind of wonder whether we could get away with maybe coated concrete. No. We need something that's asymmetrical. So I sort of like that. I just would like to have this be framed in, right? Then what was that connected to? Like what, what did that? Connected down to something. The order in which you have to do things is so particular. That did not go where I wanted it to. It's the beefy look that I want. Yeah, I can't get that to come down at the right angle. It's really frustrating. I don't know what that connected to. Maybe I'll try a foundation. Oh, well, that feels promising. course doesn't line up wow so close and yet so far right don't think you'd really see it Pretty good. Now I just have to actually reproduce it on the other side. Tricky. Got so engrossed in watching you put this together, I forgot where I was and what I was doing for a second. Well, thanks. I, I'll take that as a compliment. I feel like I've been kind of quiet, but it's just I'm trying to really figure out like what's the best process here. Now I had to do the beam first, I think. Just 
just below the track. A lot lower. Yeah, reproducing this is going to be really hard. I think that's right for that one. is the thing. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then we just have to figure out how to do the outside bits. So it's not that. How did I get that lower? I've got no idea what it is that that actually attached to. about right. Yeah, I think that'll work. Uh, do we like the white or do we want to go with something else? Maybe like chrome finish? Yeah, I'm happy with that. So I need more quartz crystals for the signs. Man, this thing is just eating, eating stuff. Oh, we're good, we're good there. Okay. That actually looks pretty cool from a distance. We can always change it a little bit. I'm kind of debating this thing. I'm not sure I like the cross section, but I don't know how to fill that space otherwise. Um, so for this, we'll just uh, remove this. I'll load up. What kind of... I don't know what kind of light we want to do. Could do the blue. Is that going to look good hovering around? Well, we could probably do a bunch of different colors. It's in the right position. Yeah. 
So we'll just copy that, paste that, and then maybe we'll change this to a different color. Probably should have done the same color on each on both sides, but no, I don't want to slide. Let's try like maybe a magenta. Kind of like an Energon color. So quickly save this as um, two track. Uh, what do we want to call this? Hover. Icon would be probably rails. And the color will be whatever color the lights are going to be. So we'll just leave it like that for now. Right. So the idea would be if we put this up on something. it would then look like it was floating now it just looks like a rainbow thing here so the idea with that the tracks would this be like suspended and that would be our sci-fi way of like having sky trains perfect way that it is leave it so one thing i should remember is that the trains kind of have like an orange glow to them so we build a locomotive when they're going they kind of have like an orange light No power. <laughs> My name is Optimus, and I approve this rainbow. <laughs> Thanks for the ex the uh, the sticker, Cosmic. That's pretty cool. Uh, what do we think? Energon purple or the blue color we've been using?
And also, do we like it without the... I might like it without those. Mm, no, it feels a little bit more industrial with them. It's a pain that we can't get the edges to line up on the beams. That would feel a lot nicer if we could do that. Blue ties in with everything else. That's fair. They just don't feel very bright, but that could be just like the lack of lumen. Yeah, I think the blue light is probably the way to go. It, just, it feels kind of dull for some reason. Mission strength is three. Orange is not bad, I have to say. So the only thing left to decide is uh, whether or not we're going to keep keep the um, the end pieces. These could be changed to a different material. I think I like the chrome finish better. Well, that's not going to be symmetrical. Yeah. So... What could we do? We could do... Walls could look interesting. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, yes. Probably carbon steel. Then I just need to figure out how to do something across the top there. Although I guess I could do just more walls. If it'll let me. To 
does not seem to want to do. I've seen Fluxo do stuff like this to really fill in the gaps that the game kind of gives you. Although how do we get that last one in there? That's annoying. It's that weird indent that looks a little bit funny. Oh, and then that sticks out on the side too. That actually looks better on that side because it gives it a little bit more purpose. Is there anything we could stick there? Again, probably like just a sign. gonna let us do I wonder if like some running lights would make sense there like just simple indicators like little guys annoying. Uh-oh. Did I delete that? Or did that go inside somewhere? It's almost happy little night time, which means it's time to go for a happy little break and get a happy little snack with a happy little coffee. Oh, I see what happened. There it is. Thank you, Cosmic, for the break reminder. Appreciate it. You are not going to let me zoop this way. Why not? Oh, I see what happened there. Those actually worked out quite well. Thanks for the break reminder, Cosmic, and thank you very much for the 200 bits. And the, was that? Um, that was um, Bob Ross. <laughs> nice. I think that's a decent solution. Very Cybertronian. Um, so this is going to be for straight pieces. I would have to figure out how to do a curve with this setup, which would be pretty tricky. Um, my guess is that I probably wouldn't. Uh, I would probably just remove the tracks and try to add it to a curve later. I don't know if I like 
this piece anymore now. What do we think? We get rid of this? That's certainly cleaner. I wonder if one of these running down the middle would be good. looking for something to make it look like that might be attaching to the tracks. I guess we could try a wall. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. What about this? Oh, this is probably going to be too pointy. Yeah. That's not what I want either. That's the right height. That sort of looks right. Basically, I want to get this right before I place like a dozen of them, right? Uh, what if you drop the top foundation uh, that one half bill using the corner trick? Mm, I don't know what you mean. Mosaic Dream. Hello, everyone. Just got off work. Lord, Lord, landlord finally decided to get the last part of the roof fixed. Hey, that's good. Roofs are good. We like roofs. We don't often finish them, but we do like them. Top of the middle foundation or a frame. Oh, for a frame. Oh, yeah. Do we have half frame foundations? I don't think we do. No, just the one. Almost worked. Yeah, it just, it feels very terrestrial. It feels like we've got a lot of angles and that feels very straight line, right? Sorry, save it again. Go on my break. Uh, overwrite, confirm, thank you. Cool, once again, folks, time for me to take a short break. If you are new to the stream, it gives you a chance to step away too. Get a snack, grab a friend, let them know the stream. I'll be right back.
All right, I think we're just gonna roll with this design. We can move forward with it. I think it does look pretty cool. So again, make sure we save that. Make sure I have access to it. And I need to figure out how it's gonna work with certain things. So I need to move it. So I've got, um, did I put those in the, in the order? Yeah, those are in trains. Um, undefined foundations. So I've got four meters straight ahead. Oh, no, that's, I want four by one. So if I'm up in the air, Pretend we're building a track. And I want to do straight piece one by four. And then we want to do a curve. And we'll grab the right curve continued. And then we want to go straight again. And then at the end of this, we want to put a support. And how does this actually interact? Right, so it's going to be high because of how we built it in the designer. So we would have to delete that and go with a foundation. Place that there, I think. So that would be a floating thing. And then for this stuff, do a straight track until it starts to turn. So you do it to, I think, here. And it should be just the edge of each one, I think. sink can't remember whether it's the middle of the foundation or the edge of the foundation I think it's the middle I think the middle you've got less of a chance of misclicking on the wrong one and then we're back to going straight again. How does that look? That looks pretty good to me. 
There might be a little bit of a wobble to it, but I was putting that together quickly. And then what we would do is just delete all this stuff. And then we just make sure we have these supports every so often. And it looks like the train is sci-fi floating. Yeah. I'm not crazy about the having to go down, but there was no better way to build this. Oh, we maybe need to put um, signals on it. That is the other thing. And can I put those in the middle? I think you can, in 1.0, I think they changed the way that um, these work now. They're snapping to the ends, but you can put them anywhere, I thought. I could have sworn you could put them anywhere. Does anybody know if you can snap these to more than just the end? Not be nudged. Must be placed on a railroad track. Is only rail ends still? Really? Well, I mean, the thing to do is to... Um... Oh, you've done it, but the segment has to be long enough. Interesting. Yeah, that's what it is, huh? So you can, it just has to be, my segments are too short. Uh, I can switch that a little bit. We can change the length of these, although I still want them to be two foundations. I don't... That's only one foundation? This might not let me do this. So I can remove one of these. Just know that we're aiming at the this intersection here. And go from the outside in. That's not gonna it has to go to at least here. Right? That's not what I want. Hmm. Temp extension. Yeah, so that's what I was thinking is that... Oh, I see. Yeah, that's not a bad idea either. Now that that's longer, will it let, it do, let us do it? Probably not. It's probably going to snap. Because it's two sections, right? What I was thinking was starting in the middle. The problem with this is that I didn't want this to be... We'd have to delete the tracks every time. Which I think I might have had to do on my other one. Okay, this will just sit right there right but the problem is that I don't think this will work if I delete this 
and put back down the other length. Right, so if I go back to a single track there, I don't think it'll work. I'll try it. I mean, it's not going to show us in here. I would be very surprised if this works. these are two foundations long right and just it's a nice it's the shortest easy to remember distance for the tracks All right, let's save this one more time we'll just place it down here on the ground and just see what we can do back under see every time you save it it puts it back in the undefined Why is it facing the wrong way? Did I put it backwards? No. Block signal. That's right. Yeah, it's not separating that. Yeah, it looks like it has to be a separate track. That's annoying. All right. How did I handle that in the other playthrough? So it's it's four meters or three meters wide or th um, three foundations. Yeah, that's what I did. Okay. We'll just do it.
And just replace these to make sure that they're snapping. Delete the foundations, we're good. Yeah, so that made a different color. Subtle. Orange versus red. You can see the different blocks. Alright, so that worked. That's fine. It's just there's a good chance I'm gonna be doing really subtle curves anyway. That's fine. Okay, that's good. Look at the designer. So I guess the question is, can I build... I probably should do like a two-up version of the five-degree turns. I'll probably have to do a bunch, bunch of tweaking and stuff, but this is where I wanted to put the train station, at least for now. And I think we're going to, it's probably going to come in on this side. I feel like this is a cool spot for a train station. This is the middle here. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. And these take up a good amount of space. They are two foundations apiece. For now, we may... I'm not sure if we have to do a turnaround or what. Um, I don't know if that's going to matter right now. We may have to move this around a bit. But the idea would be... Um, even though currently it's going to be a single track, we'll probably have a closed loop. So we could have it go either way. But I had a couple of spots marked on the map. One of them is right out in front of us. Or like right over there, I think. And so the idea would be to try and get... Um, probably a double track here so probably will I don't know if I can do these on their own 
right bend. This is going to be the wrong height. Yeah, that's not what I want. Well, we should probably go out straight anyway. Yeah, right? We've got the straight parts. So we don't need to do anything else. Till I'm heading in what I feel like is the right direction. Maybe one more? I really wish they gave you uh, degrees across the top of the compass there. You just kind of have to point yourself in the direction of the foundation. Maybe one more. Oh, that's the wrong thing. That feels about right. Sure. Uh, do I maybe want to be a little bit more to the left or right here? Probably. Yeah, okay. So I just need to take this out farther before we start the bend. Maybe not that far. Sort of guessing here. There's a little bit of trial and error. Feels about where I want to be. I want to be between the nodes, roughly. Sure. Now, what I don't know is if I can use this single track as a double, right? Like, can I just attach starting at wherever it ends? So. 
There's a blueprint here, and then there's the first turn. So if I was to do this, and then do the other bit, it's probably going to be better from a long run to do Oh yeah, that doesn't match up. Right. Because we'd have to do the outside vents first. Okay. So basically, this has to be, if I'm gonna go here for a double, then we have to go, starting here, we have to go straight and go double from there. All right, so I'm gonna need to add One of those mind the gap moments. Yeah, that's a long way down. Long way down. Thank you for jetpacks. Yay, jetpacks. How much fuel do we have left? Ah, enough. We're fine. So for the 2x, I think we just have to do the same. I agree, right bend. What I should do is try to make this higher, maybe? It might make more sense to make this out of a four high, four meter high foundation. might match up better. Let's try that. This will be... worry about the category later because it doesn't seem to remember anyway. Now for this, I think you have to start with this one. Aim at the corner. Praise the jetpack! Love the jetpack! Marry the jetpack! No? Too far? Yeah, maybe just enjoy the jetpack? <laughs> well played, Cosmic. That's really, really funny. Right, so that's correct. And then here we'd want to do another one. This is going to have a bigger overlap. So that would be very wrong. Whoops. Happens when you don't stop to the right point. You really got to make sure it's not on anything else.
feels right. Save that. Um, and then delete these two and the rest after here. And that can be Where do we write continued? And that's two, two up, right? Thanks again, Cosmic, for the 200 bits and the sticker. Really funny stuff. Really appreciate it. So here, we should be able to snap it too wide onto this. Now I've used the four meter. So if I'm, I don't want to bend any farther, but if I did, we could just use right bend, right continue. Right, that's going to snap to here. So this is what we would do is that you'd grab this and you'd just line it up. Oh, that's not going to snap to the right spot at all. Is that straight? No. What happened there? Probably because it's a different height. Yeah, that works. But then for the double, let me just go out straight, maybe with a thicker one. Let's say we're taking it out that way and we've switched to using four meters uh, for a couple of reasons. But uh, if we wanted to double this up. Now if we choose our... It's the continued one. I want the other one. I want this one. So that lines up because we're going four meters to four meters. And then if we wanted to, that's cool. Very close to the Manta now. Uh, if I wanted to add the support. This is four meters. Does it snap? Aha, that's what I wanted. It's very tricky. All right, so this is gonna be potentially straight. So at this point we could go just to get it to go into the straight curve. Uh, these will be overlapped because of the way that we did the length of the port. Uh, and then I just have to make sure that it's in the middle. So for us, it looks like doing a four meter uh, temporary road is the way to go because our the depth of our um, 
support was built on the four meter. And so that's cool. And that way, if any of these get so close to the ground that they feel kind of dumb that they're hovering, we can just put a support underneath it. And that'll be okay. And then to do this, we could keep that or we could we're coming in from a straight section over here where does the bend start that's where the bend starts so we're going to go to here I think it was the middle didn't I say So I thought holding control was going to give you a straight track, but it doesn't seem to. So we have two options. We could go from here and connect directly to that. Or I could delete this section. This is still straight. And I could connect to that. I don't know how smooth that is. I feel like we'd be better off starting here and then going to the middle of each second one yeah I think it's just that these are just not going to go very well on curves I'm going to have to come up with a probably a different way to support these on a curve what will likely happen is that we'll probably have to place the tracks so like we'll probably have to do something like this where's the new get something like here probably close enough um, if I wanted to put one of these on a bend I would probably have to place the tracks like this first knowing that these are in the middle delete these and then place another blueprint attached to this but it's not going to let me what is in the oh I don't have enough stuff yeah that should work in theory because then basically you're using the angle of these two um, supports these two temporary supports to angle the, the the hover support like it's on the spoke of a wheel so that it would be um, perpendicular to the track so we could have this kind of like on an angle on a curve if we ever wanted to well I don't have a lot of quartz that seems to be the problem so we need some quartz crystals because those signs in that thing are yeah 10 quartz crystal a piece so there's 40 quartz crystal that go to every support that's pretty cool like i think that that's i need to work on a couple of the blueprints i think that we can um totally make that work it looks like having the um the four meter high stuff is going to be important just realized we're only just barely clearing the um, power lines that's kind of fun so the idea here is that somewhere around this point the second train will uh, not go in that way it'll it'll deviate and it'll go out here and it, the second line and it will just make a loop more than likely and so we'll get rid of this 
and go from there. Cool. So I know we didn't really build a lot today. I guess we did a lot of um, blueprint designing. Uh, we've got a, a plan for the trains. And we did finish the interior inside here on this floor. Although I've got some... I don't know what's going on there. Oh. There's two of those? I... Oh, I see. Okay. Sorry, I can fix that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. It looks pretty cool. Very matrixy. Matrix of power, not Matrix Neo and all that, but like the Transformers Matrix. Yeah. Right on. I'm going to pass you along to somebody else playing Satisfactory. Let me just see who is live. I guess our Cub fan was live, as well as a few others. If anybody has any preference, let me know. Uh... Cup fans playing Minecraft. Anybody playing Satisfactory that we know? I guess I have to refresh the stream. Uh, I thought uh, I saw a tweet from Cup fans saying that they were going to play Satisfactory, but maybe they got frustrated. Uh, uh, Pubcac is streaming, and they, I believe, came over with a um, a total eclipse rate. They've definitely been in my chat before. So I'm going to send you guys over to, to uh, Pubcac. Uh, I don't see any... No warnings on the stream so far, so it should be good. Uh, thanks ever so much for a wonderful week. I really appreciate all the support. Tomorrow's my day off, so I'm not going to be streaming tomorrow. And then I'll be back recording uh, the Spawn Trunks on Monday. Uh, and um, back to streaming again on Tuesday, I think. That's the plan. So stay tuned on Twitter and Instagram. It's at Joel Duggan, very easy to find. You can, uh, of course, follow on uh, Patreon if you'd like to support the stream. It's patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. And uh, you can also use things like stickers that are new to the stream, just like Cosmic and several others today. I really appreciate the support. Uh, subs, uh, follows, eyeballs in general are a great way to support, and uh, I really, truly appreciate it. Uh, we're probably going to return a little bit more to a balance of Minecraft and Satisfactory because I do have a Minecraft podcast and I have not been playing Minecraft very much at all. So next week, there'll be a little bit more of a balance, I think, on the streams. Uh, but I really appreciate uh, that people are into Satisfactory and happy to see me play both games. It means a lot. Uh, and uh, look for those podcasts that are out. We've got uh, the Imp and Skiz podcast. We've got, uh, that's the episode that Johnny and I did. There's another episode of the Citadel Cafe that I need to edit that Johnny and I did. That's about Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power. Uh, and then, of course, the Minecraft podcast, the Spawn Chunks. So lots of content out there. It's all free. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, thanks again to Cosmic Dancer for helping out with the uh, moderating today. And, of course, with the lovely, hilarious uh, stickers and support. I will see you all next week. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And if you're Canadian, happy Thanksgiving. Cheers. Bye for now. <laughs>